Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. I uh, just wanted to do just like a collection update, to show you some of the best stuff that I've been finding over the past few months. You know, I used to do my heavy rotation videos on this channel, which is every single week I would come in and show you what records I bought, uh, what I've been listening to, what I've been streaming, discoveries I've been making, recommendations, stuff like that. I used to do it every single week on this channel. Well, I tried to. Uh, but now I have a separate channel for that. Um, just because a lot of people don't care, you know, a lot of people, <laughs> they don't care about weird records they've never heard of. A lot of people want me to just say, hey, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon is the best album, and, and they want to, you know, a lot of people just want to see videos they agree with, but, um, my goal, you know, I sat back earlier today, and I was like, what do I want my goal for my channel to be, you know, and, and it is to help you guys discover music you've never heard before, you know, I love watching channels that I'm, I have to take out a pen and paper and write stuff down or look stuff up or whatever, do research. And that's what I want um, is to be able to spread some music that might not be as well known. Uh, there's a billion YouTube channels out there uh, talking about Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. And I will still talk about them, obviously. But uh, I think that my, you know, when I'm in the shop, uh, people come in sometimes and they're like, man, I've been watching on YouTube and I've discovered this album because of you. I discovered that album because of you. And that, that is, that's something I really like. I like doing. I like share, sharing music with people. So anyway, so this video is going to be um, what I've been finding this week, kind of what I've been obsessed with this week. Um, and so if you've been watching my heavy rotation video, this first part, you will not have seen these before. Um, but if you haven't been watching my heavy rotations videos, uh, this would be a good recap because after this first little bit, there's some like highlights from the past couple months. But so I'll take this opportunity to say if you have not subscribed to my heavy rotation video, I'll put a link in the description. Subscribe to that channel, and then you'll get videos from me every single week just talking about uh, what records I've been finding. So every month, <laughs> it's not like I mean to do this, but every month, um, it's like I'm uh, I'm obsessed with some some certain type of music, and you know I have people that come in the shop and they say, "What are you into right now?" What are you, you know, it's a it comes in waves. Like I feel like a couple months ago, like I, I say months, like couple seasons ago it was jazz i was really into jazz uh audio file stuff which i still am but and then last maybe a month ago i was really into grunge and really wanted to find all those grunge records i've been missing you know and uh like the past over here this past month i've been really into zam rock so rock from zambia uh, i'm going to talk about that a good bit in this video but um you know as i find things and discover things what what makes my brain explode and makes me go on rabbit trails and do research on stuff that's what i really i love talking about that stuff so um ab about 12 years ago someone gave me a box set and it was called we intend to cause havoc and it's a box about the band which so which uh, we intend to cause havoc is an acronym for which uh and i never heard of them before didn't know anything about which and uh, got this box set, kind of dove into it, and it completely blew my mind. Um, and I was trying to talk about it with people, and no one knew anything about it. No one, you know, I would talk records with people, and they'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard that before. And so I just listened to it over and over again. And like over the years, I think I, I don't know what happened to that box set. I sold it eventually uh, when I sold my collection four times. But, um, you know, uh, just a bit, it's been on my radar. But, in finding this box set and, and, and listening to all this stuff, I, I found out that, you know, Zamrock records were only pressed in limited qualities in Zambia. It's limited quantities in Zambia, and uh, they were never pressed over here or in any other country. And you can't get them unless you go to Zambia, which nobody's going to do. So, um, you know, I, I've been after them and wanting them, but it's like, they're not gettable, and even though like, most didn't even survive, you know, um, records d just don't survive well in that climate. So a lot of them didn't survive. So there, there's been those witch albums I've been wanting forever, and just they're impossible to get. The number one, one, is this one, which Lazy Bones. Now this is a first Zambian press. Of which lazy bones which is unreal if you look at the condition on this thing um, if you're not familiar this first of all just based on music this is the most insane record uh, the, the first time I heard it I was like jaw drop like I didn't know this type of music existed it was funk it was acid fuzz 
hard rock uh, mixed with like an African feel. It was crazy. The first time I heard it, I was my mind was blown. There's a handful of times it's been that blown, you know. And uh, uh, never thought I'd be holding this in my hand, but but you know when you find when you do see people that have original copies, most of them are torched. They got tape around the edges, or they're bent, or their corners ripped, or they don't have a cover at all. Just to find a, a cover and a disc together is unheard of. I mean, it's hard to find, but to find a clean one is is, is really rare. Um, this is the original press. The disc is really clean on this. I mean unbelievable in this condition i cannot tell you that how rare they are in this condition um only two have ever sold on pop psych that are clean uh or on ebay that have gone to pop psych that are clean uh so they're they're just they're just impossible to find if you look on discogs you look at the gradings of the ones that have sold they're all like g g plus the highest grading might be a vg but um anyway so this is one of the cleaner copies i've ever even heard of and was able to get this and um you know i didn't buy it online or anything like that a lot of the really rare records like this they they get exchanged uh, privately when nobody really has heard hears about it or can see the details so at that point you know when they don't come up ever it's just um you gotta go shoot from your hip and try to get a good deal you know and i got a really good deal on this record really stoked about it um and i'm gonna upload clips of the audio and everything on find this record my instagram account um but you can find the i'm sure i'm pretty sure you can stream this it's been reissued i was strong with just getting a reissue it is just unreal cannot say enough good things about this record which lazy bones and which they had a bunch of other really good albums too um and i'm, I'm gonna be hunting this down I'm trying to get those uh another great so so like i said i've been in the zamorak zone um another great one that i got is this one this one's uh Derek moyo um, this is uh, Back to the Roots. This is a really cool, uh, you could call it Zamrock, but it's not as rocky as uh, Witch in its, you know, heyday. This is more of like a reggae funk, uh, but it is killer, man. Really, really good. Uh, it's on the Chris Editions label, which Chris Editions is like a, um, is a furniture company that sponsors some, it was its own label, you know. But uh, this is a really clean copy. There's not many of these out there. There were no clips of it online at all. No audio of it online at all. And I actually ripped the whole thing and put it on. I started a third YouTube channel. Not on purpose. It, ha it just happened that way. Because um, I want to do a channel of things that is not uh, out there. So I can like rip stuff and albums that I'm talking about. And you guys can go here. So this is the first album I've ever ripped. It's on, it's on there. I'll put a link to that in the description of this too. Screw it, whatever. But uh, anyways, this is a really cool record and um, really insanely rare. Uh, but found this as well, and this is a super clean copy. You know, even the copy on Discogs, I ended up taking pictures of this, putting it on Discogs because my, my copy was cleaner than the one on Discogs. Uh, they're, just, they're just hard to find in this, in this shape. So I think like four people have it on Discogs. It's that rare. So really, really cool record. But Derek Moyo was... Um, he was in a band called Musio Tunia. So um, I'll show you a Musio Tunia record. Uh, but Musio Tunia was the first band that um, was considered like Zamrock, I would say. One of the first. But I think the first records that they found that are Zamrock records are Musio Tunia 45s. But anyways, this is Musio Tunia. And, and like, you see this cover, how, how kind of trashed it is. This is normal for a Zamrock record. This is a normal condition to get one in. Uh, you know, this was uh, this one's a little rough around the edges, but it plays, and that's that's all you can ask for. But this is called Wings of Africa. Uh, it has two different covers. One has like a another like an eagle on it. It's like a white cover with the eagle on it holding the record and its talons. It's really cool. But this is the other cover. They both came out the same year, so nobody really knows which one's the first. But Musio Tunia was a incredible Zamrock band. Had some great members. So Derek Moyo was in Musio Tunia. I'll show you the back cover. This is, well, it's, it's too trash. Um, I, I can't pronounce a lot of things, but uh, Derek Moyo's, he had like a couple, he went by a couple of different names. Nadara uh, something is his other like alias that he went under. It's probably his real name. 
he was he played in Musio Tunio under that name. Um, but also in Musio Tunio was this amazing uh, guitar player named Ricky Ilalonga. So I've had a copy of this for a, for probably over a year, an original copy, and these are super 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 rare. Um, the one I have, let's see, I've got it right here. Um, I was I was not really happy with it, but it was you know this is the this is the one I had. The covers a little bit rougher, you know it's it's rough around the edges. It's in bad shape, but it's it's listenable. Just has a lot of crackle. This is an upgrade. I just got this. This is a near mint, like it's clean as it could possibly be for a Zambian record. I mean this is I mean just the vinyl's crazy clean on it. But what a great, he's a great guitar player, but there's, you know, he plays harmonica, acoustic, slide guitar, fuzz guitar on this record. So he's really showcasing his electric ability um, on this record. He is um, just one of the best uh, skilled musicians in Zamrock. Um, his records are fantastic. So this is Ricky Ilalanga, Zambia. This is his, my favorite record of his probably, um, but it's just unreal. Great stuff. And then, so, I got a couple other Ricky Ilalanga records. This is one called Dread Eyes. This one's killer. I need to upgrade to this. This one's in, this one's in rough shape. But um, to have one is great. And then, uh, I've got this one's called Shanty Town Boy. This one's in really good shape. Um, but this is almost, like, totally reggae. It's much more reggae than anything else. Um, and then there's this one. This one is probably my second favorite. This is called Na Same Name Music. Um really killer record i mean look at the artwork on it but this one's got like a funk like funk rock vibe to it Kill, i mean i'm telling you the guitar solos on here are nuts he's killing it on here like it almost sounds like uh like ingve malmsteen get plays a funk album i mean it's it's nuts it's really good so uh so yeah check those out ricky along is crazy um if you don't um let's see i'll show you this one this one's this one's blackfoot Millie, another really great Zamrock um, album. This is an original press, and this one's torched. I need to get an upgrade of this, but it is it exists, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, this is some great Zamrock stuff. Um, this is one I just wanted to show. This was um, this one's called uh, Africa by the band Amanaz A M A N A Z, which stands for Ask Me About Nice Artist in Zambia. Um, so this is a great record, and this is one of the more popular Zamrock records as well. But if you want to cut your teeth on some Zamrock, this is a great record to do it. I've got a few copies left on my website. Um, my website's kind of different now. I just throw, I, I order a ton of copies of records that I recommend, and then I put them on my website, and they sell out when they sell out. So I've only got like four or five records on my website. But it's all stuff that I highly recommend. Um, and so this is on my website, this, uh, Africa Amanez, uh, incredible, incredible record. This one's one you got to hear if you're wanting to get into the genre. Um, this is one for, uh, album from now again, uh, it's called, uh, can't you hear me? This is a seventies African nuggets and garage rock from Nigeria, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. There's a lot of Zam rock on here. Um, yeah. Really great stuff. I would definitely check this out. Uh, this is a comp that now again did, and it's it's uh, nuts from start to finish. Really good stuff. Uh, highlights a lot of cool African rock stuff. Um, but just got this in the mail yesterday. This is the story of Zamrock, which um, which I wanted really bad when it came out. So it originally came out in May of 2020, I believe. Um, had a different cover. It was like a white and black, but it was the same story of Zamrock, same thing. So it was such a high demand for it. It sold out, and then um, they ended up doing a second run of it. So this is the second run. May 2020, I was uh, I couldn't afford it, really, honestly, because we had just started the shop, and we were on lockdown, and I didn't know how I was going to pay rent for the shop. It was crazy. Um, it was crazy time and I just couldn't afford an extra dollar, much less whatever this cost. So, um, but was able to get this this time and it is a tremendous box set. This is not an unboxing video or anything like that, but I will show you what's in here. So this is one called Fireballs Dot. So Fireballs is a, is a really good Zamrock band. I think they only have one album. 
Um, and this is the this will be another album of theirs that they found the master tapes for, but was never originally released. So this is a really cool one. Um, and some of these you can only get in this box set or original pressing. So this is uh, the oscillations. I can see it coming. Um, this is uh, I would say in my tip top favorite Zamrock records. Um, this has just got the most insane guitar on it. It's unreal. I mean, look at that cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover. But yeah, I mean, uh, the guitar player is there. He uh, had polio as a child. Um, so he was in, um, this is Victor Kunda Kasoma. He was in a wheelchair. Uh, but he would like often play on stage and hop out of his wheelchair and lay on his back and play guitar and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, the guitar style in here is so unique. It's so killer. It's one to, to check out. Love that record. Um, this is the Five Revolutions. Boyfriends, this is a um, really cool, more like on the garage side of Zamrock. Great record. This is uh, Crossbones, Wise Man. Look at that cover, man. I need an original of this, so I'm sure y'all have them, so you can just send them to me. Um, but yeah, really good. It's got some female vocals in there. Really good Zamrock action. This one is Ricky Banda. Now we need you. Yeah, that's another one. There's probably um, 60 to 70 Zamrock records that are like the ones, you know, the, and they're all killer. And so this is just a handful of them. But yeah, Ricky Banda, this is really, really good. Um, love it. Uh, Ngozi Family, 45,000 volts. This is an insane record. So there's two different versions of this record. Um, he recorded it at, again. Uh, and the second time he recorded it, it's called 45,000 Volts Volume 2. The second time he recorded it was like um, a lot of, a lot more guitars in it. It was pretty nuts. But this is just uh, the Ngozi family. Paul Ngozi was the leader of the band. Um, and just really crazy, over-the-top guitar effects uh, and effect pedals and stuff like that. Just out-of-this-world stuff. Real fuzzed out, real freaky, crazy um, but man, I absolutely love this record. It's, it's, it's one of their best. And, uh, yeah, it's one you got to hear. I talked about this, uh, Africa, Amanez, and then The Witch introduction. So straight behind this one, this is The Witch's first record. Uh, when they wanted to make a record, they went and, um, I think they went to Mozambique, uh, where they could get records pressed and, uh, um, Jakari, the lead singer, and uh, another band member brought them back in suitcases, pretty much like that. So, um, but yeah, which is crazy. This is their first, and so the first pressing was with this artwork, and there's a second pressing with a different artwork that they've uh, reissued on a couple times that's more findable. But there's supposed to be only 300 of these, so I don't know how true that is. But they are super, super, super rare. But yeah, um, and there's a booklet. Uh, I think they did some podcasts. I gotta cut my teeth on those. I don't know. You see me recklessly putting these in here in no particular order, and it doesn't bother me a bit because I'm gonna listen to them all. Um, but yeah, the lead singer. His name was Emmanuel Jari Chanda, Jagari Chanda. He um, so basically people would call him uh, Mick Jagger. You know, they call him Jagger because of Mick Jagger because he was right quite the showman I mean he's still living he's still alive he's um still touring a little bit with Witch uh he like between the Witch days and the um nowadays he was like a gemstone miner so he'd go out and dig and find stones and stuff like that but really fascinating there's a documentary on Witch called uh, We Intend to Cause Havoc and you need to watch that if you can you have to rent it on Apple or something But it's super interesting. It's about um, him and uh, the guitar player from the Oscillations uh, get together with one of the other witch members from like the 80s funk era. Um, that, you know, they got together and they were, they toured and he kind of told the story of witch and all that stuff. Really, really cool. So another resource is this uh, Zamrock now again. Put these out uh, books just about Zamrock. There's not a lot of information about Zamrock. Um, you know, a lot of it is word of mouth and hearsay, you know, so really interesting to get some good information, any information about it, I have, uh, welcome with open arms. So, 
let's show you some other things that's not Zamrock because I've been going on about that. Been collecting some black jazz stuff. It's called Second Wave. Uh, Roland Haynes. This is real funky. Real killer. Love this. Um, I'd like to get all the black jazz titles, but there's a lot of them. Uh, I just got this one also. Walter Bishop Jr.'s Fourth Cycle. People are my soul. Really good. Keys. Soul funk. When it comes to jazz, man, like, this is jazz. But this is, like, right down my alley because it's got the funk vibe to it. It's a lot more funky than most, like, hard bop jazz or whatever. Gene Russell, New Direction, killer stuff. That's a that's probably one of the more common ones. Uh, Chester Thompson, Powerhouse, killer stuff. I'm just blowing through these, but uh, this one's one of my favorites. This is uh, Doug Karn, Adam's Apple. Really killer stuff. Good time. Good Doug Karn is incredible. Uh, great stuff. Okay. Um, shout out to Rockadrome Records. So, Truth and Janie. Um, I have, shoot, where is it? It's up there. I have an original Truth and Jenny, No Rest for the Wicked, which uh, it's got like, a, I can't believe I didn't keep it with me here, but it's got like a amps on the cover and like a, a, a hand coming out of the grave reaching up for the guitar. Anyways, it's killer. But it's a band called Truth and Janie. So Rockadrome uh, reissued this Truth and Janie, and I've got, not this one, but the No Rest for the Wicked, for the longest time, those reissues were going for like 100 to 150 bucks. It was crazy. So now he's reissued them again, and he has them on the Rocket Drone website. You can get them there, or you can get them in my store. I have some in the store, but I don't have you on my website right now. So anyways, but he, um, these are out of print and really hard to find. Uh, but the guy over at Rocket Drone, he found one for me and, uh, and sent it my way. So this is Topeka Jam, uh, live 1974. Truth and Janie's amazing, but their live stuff is unreal. Uh, you got to hear it. Uh, Truth and Jane Live is unbelievable. Killer, killer, killer live band. Uh, but yeah, I've been wanting that forever and uh, finally got that one. This is a cool one I just got the other day. This is Samuel Ikwi, um, Mystic Lady. Uh, this is killer. Like, uh, I think it's Nigerian. Look at this label, guys. Look at it. Teratone. Killer label. It's upside down. It wasn't for me. But anyways, some really like killer boogie funk from Nigeria. A really kind of a rare one. Uh, but yeah, that one is one that I would seek out. It's really good. But doing water instead of coffee on these videos. Thing is, in my uh, studio here, if I turn the AC on, you can hear it really loud. So I don't have any AC on right now, so I'm burning up. Uh, this is Malagasy. Uh, Newport, Paris. This is a really killer. I uh, got this a few weeks ago. Really good. Um, really good, like, European jazz. Killer stuff. There's a lot to that. Go back and watch my heavy rotation. I'll talk about it in length. Uh, Underground Fire. I talked about this on my channel before. This is a really killer um, garage band from Monroe, North Carolina. Um, a friend of mine found a copy of this at a yard sale, and I've been looking for one ever since. He finally sold me one, and the one he sold me was trashed. It was horrible shape. And uh, then, like maybe a month later, someone brought one in the shop. This one's like near mint, beautiful shape, but just fuzz rock, garage rock from Monroe, and it's it's above average. It's really good. No sales history. No one knows what it's worth, but it's awesome. So got an upgrade copy of that. I'm super stoked on it. I think there was only like 100 or 200 copies. I uh, got this one last week, Leaping and Loping, Sonny Clark. Um really some really killer jazz it's a second 66 press but it's near mint uh this one everybody digs bill evans uh, this is an original mono deep groove near mint beautiful beautiful copy um this is one i've been after for the longest time this is dorothy's harp by dorothy ashby um this is uh jazz funk played with a harp it is unreal amazing amazing stuff love it like it was my own child. Uh, this is one I have been after for um, 10 years or more. This is the Lollipop Shop. Really killer psych album. Uh, lead singer's Fred Cole, uh, who also went on to, to sing for the rock band Zipper, um, which I've got a copy of it like right over there, but uh, amazing stuff. And then he sang in, uh, he was the lead singer in Dead Moon. So he did like a bunch of like punk stuff too, but really killer career. He's amazing. People collect him. Uh, but this is his, his. Well, this wasn't his first outing. His first was uh, he did a 45 with a band called The Weeds. But anyways, 
This is a killer psych record. Insane fuzz guitar. Wild, wild vocals. You gotta get it. Love it so much. Uh, this is a library record I, I recently got. It's called Tempo de Naja. Uh, really, really amazing library record. Um, if any of this sparks interest, you need to go. I've, I've, I've talked about this stuff at length on my heavy rotation channel, so check that channel out. Just upgraded to this incredible um, in the shrink near mint Towns Van Zant poppy. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful condition. This is maybe my favorite album of all time. Um, and I had like a VG copy, so I was glad to finally grab this. Uh, a super clean original. And like I said, I've been um, just going off the rails with grunge. Uh, I did, I got my fill, I guess you'd say. There's like two or three grunge records that I really still need to fill out my collection, but I got a lot of them. Uh, this is Mother Love Bone Shine. I still need Apple. So that's, I need an original press of Apple. I've got a reissue, but um, this is an original Bad Motor Finger uh, Soundgarden on the uh, yellow or gold vinyl. This is one I was after for years and years. I had an original gold vinyl a long time ago, but sold it. Uh, this is an original uh, European Alice in Chains facelift, original press. Um, this is an original European jar of flies on blue and gold vinyl. Uh, this is an original US jar of flies with the timing strip. I tell the story about where I got all these in my heavy rotation videos. This is an original uh, U.S. Um, Alice in Chains self-titled. Uh, amazing. This is one of my favorite finds um, this year. I just, I've just wanted this for so long. This is an 89 press of Nirvana Bleach. Um, this is the black vinyl version, so this is technically a second press. The first press is on white vinyl. It's worth like five grand. So this is the one I'll be happy to, to have in my collection. Uh, amazing stuff. This is an original in utero on clear. So that's a grunge haul there. This is an original uh, Nirvana Unplugged on white vinyl. Original press. I'm just blowing through these, but these took, took a while to find and were quite costly. Uh, this is a whole live through this original. This is a German press. But yeah, they didn't press these in the United States. But this is just insane. I love, love, love this record. There's a bunch more in here. I'll blaze through them really quick. You guys want to see them. Uh, original Green River in the green vinyl. Another original Green River. Come on down. This is, I, was talk, I was talking about uh, Dead Moon. This is an original uh, Dead Moon Unknown Passage um, in the shrink. This was still sealed when I got it, but I cracked it open to listen to it. Sonic Youth Exper Experimental Jet Set. On blue vinyl, original press. This is L7. Hungry for stink. Really good stuff. This is uh, sealed. Need to open it. Uh, Pixies. Uh, oh man, this is a uh, screeching weasel. Original press. Uh, this is Balter Space. Vortura. Uh, really cool one. Um, that's not really grunge, but it's close enough. 90s. Oh, uh, the band. Let's see. I'm gonna show that. One. Oh, this one's a killer one. This is Dinosaur Junior Bug, test pressing. Come on. Uh, this is an original from the Muddy Wakes of Banks of Wishka. This is an original Gish, original uh, uh, UK or German press. Can't remember, but original Gish, uh, original Siamese Dream on the first press came on this maroon vinyl. Um, and then this original Siamese Dream, uh, this is like the third press, it was on this orange vinyl. Uh, really great stuff. How many times can I spin it? Sonic Youth. Goo! Original U.S. press. Um, I'll show this in a minute when I find its brother. This is, uh, Adore. Uh, original Mud Honey. Super Fuzz Big Muff. Uh, original... Stone Temple Pilots, Tiny Music. Here it is, the original Paw Drag Line on red vinyl. This is a super underrated uh, grunge record. You gotta have it. Um, this is the second album, Death to Traders by Paul. Amazing stuff. I did get this Alice in Chains record store day. Um, that's the original Helmet. This is a Temple of the Dog 12 inch promo. Some Soundgarden 12 inch promo. So, anyways, that's most of the really good stuff. Oh, here's some more. Oh. I'll show you this last one. Uh, Pearl Jam Lost Dogs, original press. Got that. So these records are stacking up on this table. And I can't even move. So thank y'all for watching this video.
please check out the links. Um, subscribe to my channel, my Heavy Rotations channel, please. I'd love to share some music with you. And uh, follow us on Instagram. See you guys next time.